I'm so excited about this one, you guys. You don't wanna miss the beginning of this one, you guys, so do not skip ahead. I will be watching. What is up, my lovely badasses on the internet, and welcome to this Taurus new moon video. This new moon is so exciting for so many reasons, but it's also coming with a lot. A lot of things are going on at the time of this new moon, so just prepare yourselves, brace yourselves. This is not just your average little new moon, you know, with nothing going on, or I would not be doing all of this right now. So. Just kick back and relax and let's talk about this new moon. As always, you do not wanna miss the beginning of this video because it's going to come with a lot that you will need to take with you when you watch your rising sign horoscope, okay? So do not just skip to your rising sign. That is just a very small portion of this, okay? You need to understand like what exactly is happening. Then you can apply it to your rising sign in that area of life that it's happening in, right? So you don't wanna miss the beginning of this one, you guys. So this Taurus new moon, it's coming with a lot of opportunity. It is literally a fresh start. It is a fresh new beginning coming in where we can create something really sustainable, really beautiful, really long-term and really abundant and successful in our lives that has a lot of value and a lot of quality. But it is coming with some opportunities for growth where we are really going to have to like step it up to do so, okay? So this is not just like, you know, a new beginning where you don't have to do much, right? Like this Taurus new moon is really challenging us to see where we can make changes to add and simplify and, you know, really create more of a sense of fulfillment, pleasure, abundance, security, sustainability, and quality and value in our lives. Okay, so let's start here. What the fuck is a new moon? <laughs> A new moon is basically a new beginning, and that is because when a new moon happens, the moon actually goes dark in the sky because the sun and the moon align in a way where the sun is so bright that it kind of overpowers the moon, right? And so the moon kind of disappears from our perspective for a little bit, which creates space, and something is lost when something disappears. When something decreases, space is being created for something new to arise in that space, which is why a new moon deals with new beginnings because that space is created. It's like the womb, right? Or planting seeds in soil, right? Like we have to have space for something to be created. So a new moon is basically new beginnings, right? Now this new moon in particular is happening in the sign, the beautiful Venus ruled sign of Taurus, right? So what does that mean, right? So the sign of Taurus is ruled by Venus because it is at this time of year where we are in spring, where things are blooming and things are finally growing and looking more beautiful. And so it's really about sustaining, you know, the, the, this time of year, like the weather this time of year is more consistent. We're in the middle of spring. And so it's really about kind of sustaining the growth that we have created or sustaining what we already have and finding more value, quality and pleasure and fulfillment. It's about simplifying things in a way to where we can enjoy what we already have in some way instead of always looking for the next new thing, right? Which is more so Aries, the sign that comes before Taurus. But this is about like, hey, okay, we found something new. You know, we went after it, whatever. How can we sustain it? How can we simplify it? How can we add more to it and expand the value that it already has rather than jumping from one thing to another, right? So that is really what Taurus energy is all about. So this new moon in Taurus is a massive opportunity, massive new beginning that's coming in for us to start seeing the beauty and the value and the quality of what we want to create, right? Or what we already have and how we can add to that. Right. So oftentimes, you know, we think that we have to move on to the next thing. We have to start something new, you know, like in the business that I am in and what I do, you know, for a while there, I was kind of thinking like, oh, I have to keep doing programs or classes or launching different things to create some kind of sustainability in what I do. Lately, I've realized that it's really not about that, right? It's really not about that at all. And think fuck, because that would be a lot, you know? Like, don't get me wrong, I love creating new things. I love launching new things, but I also don't wanna do that all the time, right? Sometimes I don't have the energy for that, or sometimes I just wanna fucking chill, right? So what I've been focused on is like, how can I add more quality and value to the things that I already offer and make them even better? Put my energy there instead of putting my energy into the next new shiny thing, right? And so this Taurus energy is giving us a chance to really simplify an area of our lives focus on what we do enjoy, what we do value, and how to do it in a way that gives us more ease and add more value at the same time, right? And find pleasure in those things that we do love at the same time. So this Taurus new moon is an opportunity for us to start really, really finding the value in what we already have, 
what we're already doing and whatever area of life you have Taurus in, whatever house you have Taurus in, which we'll get to that when we get to the rising sign. So the other reason that this new moon is not just a typical new moon in Taurus and that it's a big deal is because Jupiter just entered the sign of Taurus, right? This is a huge deal. This is a massive transit that we have happening for the year. And personally, my favorite transit that we have happening for 2023 because Jupiter is the planet of expansion, growth, optimism, opportunities, open doors, success, right? It is an expansive planet that wants to add and gain and grow and evolve, right? So Jupiter entering the sign of Taurus is also asking us how we can evolve, expand, and grow in this area of our lives, how we can find more value, more abundance, more quality, and more pleasure in the things that we already have or the things that we want to sustain or the things that we want to create and how we can create them in a sustainable way, right? How we can add more value and security and evolution to this area of life. And so it's going to bring a lot of opportunities, a lot of success, a lot of solid and stable and secure opportunities into our lives that are going to be valuable, that are going to bring more quality into our lives. And this is like really freaking huge. But at the same time, Jupiter is in a square with Pluto and Mars at the same time as Mars is finishing up in Cancer at the 29th degree and about to move into Leo. And so this is also a really big deal. This is showing me that in order to evolve, in order to make big extreme changes that are like out of this world and to get to where we want to go and to get to more abundance and to live a life that is more fulfilling, pleasurable, and full of more quality, we also have to make some changes. We also have to be willing to put in the work. We also have to deal with some of the power struggles that maybe we've been dealing with, whether internal or external in our lives. We also have to deal with some of the things, some of the insecurities, some of the emotions that we'd rather not deal with because Venus is in Cancer and she is squaring Chiron, okay? So this is also telling me that we may have some insecurities. We may be depending on some things that really we don't need and that are not going to get us to where we wanna go. Right? Like this new moon is so much about up leveling. It's like you can have this beautiful, new, abundant, successful, fulfilling, pleasurable new beginning if you're willing to also create space for this to happen, right? Like this new beginning is coming with some space that needs to be created, right? We need to like walk the talk, right? Like we need to actually walk the talk. We need to start shifting in a way that is aligned with this new beginning that we wanna create. So like what are some of our behaviors right now or our insecurities right now or some of the actions that we've been taking that are not aligned with this new fresh start that we desire in our lives. Like where can we make those changes that are going to be in integrity? So this is also coming with like, hey, we have to clean up some area of our lives or clean up some old behaviors, clean up some old power struggles, clean up some old ways of doing things that have not been working for us so we can expand into this new beginning so we can up level this area of our lives so we can really like truly have this beautiful new beginning that's sustainable right it's like where are we where are we the problem in creating the sustainable the sustainable valuable things that we want in life these sustainable valuable desires that we want in life like where are we the problem here and doing that where are we not being the person that can do that right like where are we not making that commitment to do that because of old behaviors our old baggage our old insecurities our old wounds old beliefs about ourselves right that need to be changed and so that is what this new moon really really is about like hey you can have this fresh new start right you can have this fresh new beginning that you desire success is like right on the other side with whatever area of life this is for you where Taurus is in your chart. Like success is right there. Like you can start really creating success and, and really going after things that you desire, right? Like living in a way that is more aligned, that is, you know, more simplistic, that is more harmonious, that is more in ease and pleasure, fulfillment, that adds more quality to your life, add, add more stability more value to whatever you're doing, but it's like what needs to change so you can get there. So this new beginning is coming with some, some big change. It's like we might need to make some extreme changes with Jupiter squaring Pluto, 
but they're for the better. They're for this, this opportunity. They're for this growth. They're for this evolution. They're for the things that we want. It's like this has a meaning, you know, and Jupiter is coming up on the North Node. So this is super faded. This is super like, it's a super faded destined kind of time, whatever you want to call it, right? It's like wherever this is happening in your chart, it's like there are faded encounters that are happening right now. There are faded like solutions to problems that are showing themselves like doors are opening, right? But what do we need to clean up? What kind of things do we need to straighten up within ourselves or within our lives that are going to hold us back from this thing, right? Or that are just not in alignment or not a right fit for this new beginning, right? It's like there may be old behaviors, like I said, or actions that we need to take or actions that we're not taking or actions that we are taking that are just not, you know, congruent with this fresh, new, beautiful beginning that's right on the other side, right? It's like, it's like the grass is greener on the other side, right? Like that's what's coming to me right now. So the best way I can describe this, okay, this is a beautiful metaphor that just hit me out of nowhere because, you know, but <laughs> I'm a channeler, I'm a badass, like whatever you want to call it. So anyway, but it's like, okay, our grass has been dead, right, for a while. It's not been looking too cute, right? And so we're like, you know what? At first we were like, you know what? I'm just gonna go stand on someone else's grass or I'm gonna go be on someone else's grass or I'm gonna go look for new grass or I'm gonna go try to find new grass. And then we're like, wait, no, instead of worrying about new grass, I need to worry about my own damn grass and I need to do the work to actually make my grass look good. I need to add the energy. I need to add the focus and do the things I don't want to do to make what I have better, to make what I have greener, to make what I have of more value. Because in the long run, that's going to be more sustainable than going and hopping from grass to grass to grass or trying to get new grass every time I don't want to do my grass, right? And I don't really know that much, too much about grass. <laughs> so I could, you know, whatever, it's a metaphor. So uh, if it makes sense to you, let me know down below. But that's basically what I'm saying here. Like that is the perfect way to describe what I'm saying here. It's like, we don't wanna do the work that really like, it's not like it's like dirty work, right? This is like Mars and Cancer at the 29th degree, Jupiter and Taurus, you know, Pluto and Aquarius. This isn't like getting down and dirty necessarily, right? It's like, there are just things that either we need to stop doing or things that we need to face or things that, you know, we need to deal with that maybe we've been neglecting or putting off, you know, like some big changes that we need to make to up level ourselves and to do the internal shifting for us to be able to like really embrace this new beginning without feeling like we're unworthy or without feeling like, you know, we have to depend on someone else or without feeling like it's, not right for us in some way or like we can't in some way right like that's what i'm saying here right like so okay present day me here i wanted to add a few things a few more things that i did not mention in this video that i think are really powerful and that is kind of the first one this new moon is powerful right pluto is involved this is a massive transformation this is a massive leap a massive up leveling a massive upgrade that can happen like it may feel like holy shit the doors are open i know what i gotta do and i'm willing to do it I have the balls to do it right now, right? Like that is this new moon energy. Like I have the balls to go after what I want. I have the determination, the ambition, the drive to actually make my desires a reality, right? That is so much what this is about. Whether it's about facing fears, getting rid of toxic people in your life with Pluto, right? Or taking the action and taking charge, especially as, you know, Mars is at the end of Cancer about to move into Leo, right? Whatever extreme actions or extreme kind of energy is coming up now it's pushing us because it wants us to be successful Jupiter's involved so it's pushing us for the better right this is a really positive 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 upgrade and we have to start with where we are at now to get to the future that we want we have to start with the present moment right and so another thing that could be really really helpful if you're trying to manifest for this Taurus new moon is like subconscious
subconscious, you know, programming, like listening to things while you sleep that really align with the desires and the future and the manifestations and the success, the abundance that you want, right? And so speaking of that, I'm going to give a quick shout out to the sponsor of today's video. Aura is the app for all of us spiritual weirdos out here, okay? Aura is the app that we all need in our back pocket. So last year, I got really into subconscious reprogramming because I was having a lot of subconscious issues and patterns coming up. And I used to search YouTube for like 20, 30 minutes every night before I went to bed trying to find a track for subconscious reprogramming to align to what I really actually wanted to do. So I started exploring subconscious reprogramming through sleep meditations and sleep tracks, but also I started using it for manifestation as well, and it's helped tremendously. So when Aura reached out, I really started looking into their app, and I realized like, wow, they have a badass freaking genius invention here with this app you guys like you find everything all in one place you tell it what you need and it brings everything up for you whether you are focused on you know manifesting or health or wellness or meditation or stress or sleep or whatever like they have it all like it really is like spotify but for your mind and soul like this little app is so badass i've been listening to it every night you can find anything that you need for your spiritual journey and live an awakened and enlightened life on this little app. It truly, truly is a badass app. They seriously have anything you could want or need. They have programs, coaching, they have healing, they have meditations, hypnosis, like all kinds of different things. Subconscious reprogramming for, for manifestation. They have meditation. Anything that you're looking for help with on your spiritual journey, this little app has. Like it is seriously badass and I am so excited to be partnering with them. And not only that, but they are giving you a seven day a free trial a free mother effing trial you guys so you can just try it and if you don't like it you don't have to worry about but it with my link below you get a seven day free trial and then after that you get 25 percent off using my link so hopefully this helps you guys out i really really love sponsorships like this i really only take sponsorships like this because this is actually helpful. <laughs> it's actually helpful, right? And so it's helped me. And so I hope it helps you. So if you're interested in that, see the link below in the description. And yeah, let's get back to the video. So if we just did the little bit of whatever to fix our grass, to fix our side of the street, then we and, and actually put in the, the energy and the time and actually enjoy it, right? Then we would create more ease, more more abundance in our own freaking yard, more value, more quality, like I've been saying, in our own freaking grass than having to constantly jump from one thing to another or trying to find a solution that really is not going to actually solve the problem or be sustainable. Like, like I said, Taurus is about sustainability. Taurus is about consistency. Taurus is about security. It's like, you know, we're going to feel more secure finding that value and putting that focus into the things that actually matter that we have now instead of trying to run to the next freaking thing, right? It's about like simplifying and getting very clear and expanding the value that we have right now of the things that we have right now or of what this area of life, wherever this is happening for you right now, right? And finding the quality in that and doing that. Like that is what this new moon is all freaking about. <laughs> that is what she is about, you guys. Like that is literally the best way that I can explain it. So let me know down below if this related. Uh, this new moon is also going to sextile Neptune, which I mean, it's a sextile, so it's kind of a subtle energy. Uh, but this is, I, I really like this because it is bringing this kind of dreamy vibe to this new moon. It is showing us like, hey, like we can make this into something really beautiful. Like we can make dreams happen here and we may already have the tools to do that. All we have to do is increase the value, increase the quality of what we have. But that may mean that we have to do some work to do that or that may mean that we may need to make some changes within ourselves or within our lives to really get this going to straighten this out to make this better right this is about making things better making what we have better right that is jupiter and taurus it's like taking what we already have making it better making it more sustainable making it more optimal like adding in more opportunity more growth more evolution from that and really honing in on the value and the quality of what we have so we can grow it right? And so that is what this is all about. So let me know down below 
if you stayed and watched the beginning of this, comment the word badass. I freaking love you. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get to the readings. Also, let me know if you're related to the beginning, if this made sense to you, if you are seeing this come up somewhere in your life. So let's go ahead and get to the readings for your rising sign. Alrighty, Taurus rising. So this new moon for you is happening in your first house, which means that everything I just talked about in the beginning is going to really be honed in and focused on you, your physical body, your and the what you embody, right? Like who you are, your self-expression, maybe your style, maybe how you show up in the world, right? Like your self-expression, you know? your appearance, things like that. So these things can really be coming up at this time, potentially your health and like vitality and things like that too. But it's typically a little bit more focused on your body and how you view yourself and things like that. So this definitely could be a time where you are like, you know, really starting to see like, hey, you know, like a new beginning that kind of happens that goes on for the next couple of weeks where you are really focused on adding more value to who you are, like you're already valuable enough, but maybe it's like showing, you know, that value in more ways, right? That's what I mean. Like not adding more value to who you are, but like, you know, showing that value is more so what I meant. Like how can you really show up and uh, claim that value and embody who you are? And like, you know, you could also be working on things to do with yourself to create a sense of improvement, right? Or to upgrade who you are, upgrade your sense of self or start looking at yourself in new ways or from higher perspectives and really seeing your own individual potential uh, for who you are and the value that you bring, the quality that you bring. You know, maybe you're starting to really think about like, you know, I wanna dress differently. I wanna add more quality to how I present myself or how I dress or my style or something like that, right? So this is a massive new beginning that's bringing in a massive massive new kind of era of you with Jupiter just moving into your sign and then a lot of these other transits that are happening around this time. You know, Jupiter is squaring Pluto in your 10th. So this is like making really big atomic changes in who you are, how you show up in the world and what you want for your life and how you go after your future and the changes that you want to make here, right? Now, Jupiter is also uh, beginning to square Mars. Well, it's been kind of squaring Mars, but it's going to continue to square Mars as Mars is about to move into Leo. And so this is also, you know, creating a lot of change and things that you may be feeling like you need to do in terms of, you know, your day-to-day -day environment, your day-to-day -day reality, your day-to-day -day surroundings, but eventually also your home life in the few days following the new moon uh, this week. So definitely watch out for that too, because those could be some things that you see coming up as well. So that is what I'm seeing for you, Taurus. Definitely let me know down below if this relates. If you missed the beginning of this video, go back and watch this because you're missing out on a lot. And you know, you're a Taurus rising, so you definitely don't want to miss that first half of the video. I love you guys, and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Alrighty, Gemini Risings, this new moon is happening in your 12th house and Jupiter just moved into your 12th. So this is a time where you are going to start noticing this kind of focus expanding towards really embracing more ease, rest, slowing down, really enjoying the things in life that are slower and a little bit more behind the scenes that deal with a little bit more like seclusion, right? Like maybe taking a vacation, taking time off, like stopping and, and really adding more value and quality to your behind the scenes life because then you end up feeling refreshed. Then you can express and give more and do more in the world when you're kind of behind the scenes life and subconscious realm and, and you know, inner realm is taken care of. And so this is about really getting back into connection with your soul and, you know, really getting out of your normal day to day shit and taking a rest, taking, taking some time off, taking a break, going on a vacation, slowing down and, you know, really seeing how that adds more value to you, your life, how that adds more quality to your life. Right. And so that is what this new moon is really going to start bringing in for you and Jupiter moving into Taurus is really going to start bringing in for you. It's more of a sense of ease and flow and, you know, feeling more secure internally. Therefore, everything else in your life feels more secure. Everything else in your life feels better and more fulfilled, right? And so that is what this new moon is really about for you as a Gemini rising. Let me know down below if this resonated. I would really, really love to hear your feedback. And if you missed the beginning of this video, go back and watch it because you do not want to miss out on that. I also went into a lot more detail about Jupiter moving into Taurus in the May 2023 horoscopes. So go check that out if you haven't. And I will see you guys in the next one.
Bye. Cancer rising. So this new moon in Taurus with Jupiter also moving into Taurus is about you finding more valuable and quality connections in your life with people. It's like you are finding so much value in connecting with people and the different connections that you have, right? It's like, whoa, I didn't know that like just based on who I knew I could solve this problem or add more value or whatever, you know, like simplify things. It's like you're finding a lot of value and quality through the connections in your life, through the different groups and circles that you're being, that you're getting involved with, right? For some of you, this could also start bringing up themes of like marketing, and you know networking and things like that as well but you're really starting to see the value of like your long-term goals and the value of knowing the right people and you know being affiliated with people that can get you there that add a sense of value and quality to your life right that can connect you and that bring in a sense of success and fulfillment and enjoyment you know people that have their shit together more like people that are more stable and secure in your life and and really understanding that like meeting different friends potentially and you know interacting with different groups of people in circles that bring more of that ease and contentment to your life where you're not like you know, people that aren't like chaotic, you know, and just using you or manipulating you or whatever, right? Like are going through something that's like chaotic or whatever, right? Like you're really starting to understand the value of having quality like connections in your life. So that is really what this is all about. Um, it could also be bringing up big changes that you may be thinking about making or may start feeling very motivated to make in terms of financial matters too uh, for some of you and in terms of financial obligations and you know your financial connections with other people this could be business connections as well and uh, yeah and it's very it's very much motivating you and, and also changing kind of some of your views on on people in general and other people in the world and different kinds of groups of people or different cliques of people right and so that is what I'm seeing for you cancer definitely let me know down below if this resonates I would really love to know and hear about what's going on with you for this new moon if you missed the beginning of this video go back and watch it you do not want to miss it and uh, if you would like more about Jupiter entering your sign and what's going on this month if you'd like more detail definitely go check out the May 2023 horoscopes for your sign if you missed that and I will see you guys in the next one Leo Risings, my fellow Leo Risings, I'm so freaking excited for this energy happening for us, like I've been saying since the May horoscopes and, and also since the 2023 horoscopes at the beginning of this year, I literally said I was so excited for Jupiter entering Taurus. And this new moon is just really highlighting it, that as it's happening literally like just a couple days right after Jupiter enters. I think this is really, really going to be a new beginning, a fresh start of making some really big changes in terms of our career and our long-term goals our future where we're going like the our north star basically like the path that we're going down like where we see ourselves and and really creating that sustainability in our career or finding something that is more pleasurable and this is really opening up new beginnings and opportunities to find more value and quality in our careers or to find you know a different career or a different path or different goals that add more value and quality it's like we really want something that has a sense of value and purpose to it, you know, that really is of quality in terms of our paths, our careers, our long-term visions, our long-term goals. Like we want to have the life that we desire, that we want, one of more fulfillment, pleasure, ease, right? So how can we create more of that in our careers? How can we simplify things in a way to create more ease, more pleasure, more fulfillment in our careers and long-term goals, right? In a way that brings us more success, more joy, more expansion, but, and all of that, but in a way of ease, right? Like in a more simplistic way and in a way that feels aligned and good and sustainable still, right? Now, this is also creating big uh, changes in terms of our relationships with other people and our connections in our lives. So, you know, we also may be you know, meeting new people or having, you know, new relationships, new powerful relationships come in, or this could be creating uh, big changes and growth in terms of our relationships and in terms of the connections in our lives and, you know, how we see or view ourselves in this whole dynamic, right? Who we think we are in this whole dynamic and really kind of upgrading ourselves and our lives and our connections is really what this is all about and upgrading our career and our long-term goals and future. And so this new moon is creating a really, really beautiful new beginning of change here. If we can overcome maybe some of the old dependency or uh, self-sabotaging or codependency or old insecure habits 
or cycles or whatever that we have, you know, that hold us back from doing what we really want to do or being that successful version of who we are in the world, right? And so that is what I'm seeing for us, Leo Risings. Definitely let me know down below if this resonated with you. I would really, really love to know if you missed the beginning of this, go back and watch it. As a Leo Rising, you're gonna relate because I'm a Leo Rising and it's all from my perspective. And if you would like more information on Jupiter entering our 10th house, and what all else is happening this month, definitely go watch your horoscope for May 2023. I talked all about it in there if you missed it. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Virgo Risings, this new moon for you in Taurus is really about creating more value and quality beliefs and views on life that actually get you farther and bring more value and fulfillment and ease to your life. It's really about, you know, simplifying, you know, your, your views and what you kind of interact with or the things that you're learning about or your educational pursuits, your belief systems, your worldviews, things like that. So you can really, you know, hone that in and embody that, right? Instead of living a life that, a reality that may feel so chaotic, it's like what higher morals, ethics, and values do you need to start embodying or embracing so you can you know really find that sense of meaning and purpose in your life whether that be through your belief systems your travel pursuits your teaching endeavors you know like you're really looking for more quality and value in these things and in your views on the world and in your views on you know your life and life in general um to really ground you in this world right and to really feel more steady and to feel more stable in life and so that is what this new moon and jupiter moving into taurus is really going to bring up for you you know this could be uh, a major sense of like really honing in on what you are good at and really starting to value the things that you're good at in order for you to expand and you know share that with the world right and so you may be placing a lot more importance on what's a value in terms of who you listen to who you get your information from you know teachers mentors gurus um you know like political people and just things like that like big worldly figures or figures that you may follow or listen to or get your information from in some way right that's kind of also what could be coming up here for you as a virgo rising now oh, whoops <laughs> this could also this could also create change or be creating a sense of change in your work life your work and health life and with your habits and your day-to-day -day routines um as well as jupiter is squaring uh, Pluto and Aquarius in your sixth house. So this is also like, hey, what old habits do you need to face or what health, you know, habits or routines or work situations do you um, maybe need to change to really step into this new beginning and to really step into, um, you know, the, the value, the valuable morals and ethics that you really want to start embracing and embodying in your life, right? And so that could be something that is also coming up at this time or somehow your work or job or health could be contributing to this in some way, shape, or form. So that is what I'm seeing for you, Virgo Rising. If you missed the beginning of this video, go back and watch this because it'll explain a lot more. If you would like more on this Jupiter transit through Taurus and what else is happening this month, definitely go check out the May 2023 horoscopes and check out your horoscope for May because that is going to explain a lot more and go a lot more in depth about everything else and what's happening this month and some of these transits I mentioned. So anyways, I love you, Virgo. I will see you in the next one. Alrighty, Libra rising. <laughs> I told you this month was about money, honey. Let me know if that has come true for you down below, but it is really kicking up now, honey. It is really getting started. This new moon in Taurus for you with Jupiter moving in Taurus is really, really about finding more value and quality in terms of finances, right? So this is about maybe simplifying, simplifying things and finding more ease, pleasure, and fulfillment in your finances um, so you can enjoy things more or so you can do things in a way that feels like it's bringing more value in right like it's like what are things worth to you right this is about you know risk versus reward and, and simplifying things in a way that's like okay like if i do it this way it's going to bring in more more value right and it's going to be worth it right and so this really is about kind of you know, opening doors and expanding your potential and the way that you're viewing things in terms of your finances. So you can create more ease and flow and simplicity uh, in this area of your life and it not feels so chaotic or, 
you know, confusing or hard or whatever, right? And so this is really about bringing in more value and quality in terms of your financial matters and uh, really focusing on that. So that is what I'm seeing for you for this new moon, uh, Libra. Also, this could be bringing up uh, certain, you know, changes that may need to happen in terms of dating, pleasure, uh, entertainment or children for you to make some of these financial changes or whatever, right? Or that could be adding to it somehow, right? This could also be a time where you're connecting with other people um, in terms of finding more valuable ways to go about, you know, or more ways that more simplistic ways to go about your finances that end up bringing you more value or more worth in the long run, right? Like that end up, you end up gaining, right? from making some changes in the long run or making what you have now better, right? This could also deal with business for some of you guys too. So, but that's really what this is about, upgrading and making things better in terms of your finances and uh, your resources and your shared finances and resources, right? So let me know down below if that's something that you're noticing coming up around this time. And uh, if you missed the first part of this video, definitely go back and watch that. What are you doing? And also if you'd like more, on some of these transits I talked about, go watch the May 2023 horoscopes for your sign because there's a lot more in there. So I love you guys. I will see you guys in the next one. Scorpio, this Taurus new moon for you with Jupiter just moving into Taurus is majorly, majorly, majorly all about relationships for you. And it doesn't just have to be like a marriage partner or a romantic partner. Like this could be any like close relationships that are in your life, right? And so you really wanna look at, you know, the value and the quality that the relationships in your life are bringing to the table. Do you have quality, sustainable, stable, secure relationships? Like, are these relationships really bringing in a sense of value and worth into your life? Like, are they, are they adding to your life? Are they helping you grow? Are they helping you evolve? Or are they not, you know? And so this could be a time, a new beginning that really happens where you really start wanting to expand and you start finding more opportunities in terms of the people that you are in close connection to, that you have relationships with and wanting to add more value and quality to your relationships. Now, if you are if you are in a committed relationship though, this could also be a time where you notice your partner starts growing or expanding in some way. Um, their life starts, you know, they start having a lot coming up in terms of value and quality and, you know, like wanting to make things better, right? And that's really what this is about. Like, how can your relationships be better? How can you upgrade in terms of your relationships with other people um, and, you know, make things way more sustainable and stable in this area of life to where it's more pleasurable, it's more beautiful, it flows better, it's more filled with ease, you know? And so that is really what this particular new moon is all about for you. It could also be bringing up some changes that you may need to make though within your personal life, your home life, your family, um, or your past in some way because Jupiter is squaring Pluto uh, with this new moon. And so this is a time where, you know, big change could be happening here in terms of your home family and personal life, or you could start feeling, you know, like big changes need to happen here in some way, or they could be contributing in some way to some of this relationship, you know, some of these relationship topics that are happening for you. So let me know down below if that relates. I would really, really love to hear your feedback as a Scorpio rising and just hear how you're noticing this and how you're feeling this energy um, because I think it's really interesting for you guys. And so also if you haven't seen your horoscope for May, go watch it. Uh, and if you haven't watched the beginning of this video, go watch it because you're missing out. And that's what I got for you, Scorpio. I will see you guys in the next one. Alrighty, Sagittarius, this new moon in Taurus is really, really, really about for you finding a way to make your day-to-day -day work, your day-to-day -day task, your day-to-day -day routines, your day-to-day -day health even better, right? So really honing in on like what is worth it here, what's of value here, what's actually going to bring you the most value, what's actually going to bring you the most return, right? What is actually important to you? right? And what's going to bring you the most quality and ease? How can you restructure things in a way and, and expand this area of your life in a way that brings in a sense of pleasure and fulfillment and ease, you know, where maybe it's not as chaotic or you're not having to work as hard, right? Um, but you're still, you know, doing things of value. You're still bringing value, right? And so that is what this new moon and Jupiter moving into Taurus is really all about. Like, how can you make these areas of life even better? How can you upgrade here? 
And for some of you, this could be also about changing your environment or changing the different people, places, and things that you're going around or maybe learning a new skill or you know, maybe picking up some kind of new uh, class or something that's also that you're adding to your routine to help you do this or <clears throat> networking in your immediate environment somehow. Uh, so that could be also something that you're seeing come up too with this. So that is what I'm seeing for you, Sag. Let me know down below if this resonates. I would really, really love to hear what you are noticing for this. And if you missed the beginning of this video, you are missing out. So definitely go watch that. And if you would like even more about some of these transits I named, like Jupiter moving into Taurus, Go watch your May horoscope for this month because I talked a lot about it in there and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Alrighty, Capricorn, this new moon for you is happening in your fifth house. This is a really fun place to have this new moon. So you are going to really be focused on with Jupiter moving into your fifth and this new moon happening in your fifth. This is a new beginning that is really kind of starting and being planted in terms of where you find your passion, where you find you know, certain hobbies, entertainment, fun, and where you find value in that and bringing more ease and fulfillment and pleasure into your life, bringing more fun into your life. Like, but not just any kind of fun, like fun that brings a sense of value to your life, right? Like that's what it's about, like fun that's worth it, right? Like things that are worth it, like creative hobbies or endeavors or projects that are worth it, right? Like, and how to really bring more sustainable creativity or passions or fun or entertainment into your life. Now, this also could bring up children or dating. So it could be finding a sense, like finding more of a sense of quality and value in your relationship with your children or in, you know, the experiences that you're having with your children or the experiences that you're having with dating or your romantic life with your partner, you know, bringing in more sensuality, more pleasure, uh, that could also be the case. But this is really going to be a fun and expansive time of really focusing on what brings you joy and how to kind of sustain that more, how to tap into that more consistently on a more consistent basis and also, you know, it, it become a more valuable thing in some way, like how to grow it and make it more, even more valuable and add even more quality to it, right? So um, another thing that this could be bringing up though, with Jupiter squaring Pluto is some major changes in your finances, resources, um, possessions, the things that you own, things like that, your priorities. So it's like in order to sustain some of these things that you're getting into, it's like maybe there needs to be some changes here, or maybe you need to make an investment or, you know, something like that. Maybe you need to shift your priorities or shift how you're you're going about something. So that could also come up for some of you as a Capricorn rising. So let me know down below though what you are noticing Capricorn, if any of this resonates so far. And uh, also watch the beginning of this video if you have not already because you're missing out. If you did not, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye. Alrighty, Aquarius rising. This new moon in Taurus and Jupiter in Taurus uh, is happening in your fourth house of your home, family, personal life, private life, past, you know, things going on kind of in your foundation, right? So this is going to be a big focus for you, or maybe there's a new beginning happening. It's like, how can you create a more sustainable, you know, uh, reliable, beautiful, pleasurable, valuable space within your home? Like this could be a time where you're like, you know what? I need to like really redecorate, make things better within my home, like create a sanctuary, you know, or create a, a sense of an internal foundation that makes me feel good that creates a sustainable, you know, something sustainable in my life that brings more quality and value into my life. You know, this could be a time where you're thinking about moving or buying a home or buying some land or buying some property. It's like a time where you're wanting to expand your roots in some way, right? Whether internal or external in some way, it's like, I need to expand. And so you could find a lot of doors starting to open for you here. And you could find that you're really more so focused on the value and the quality of this area of your life and bringing more value and quality into your life, bringing more ease, you know, doing something that's gonna create more ease and flow and fulfillment and pleasure within your life. Um, and this could also be bringing up, you know, themes to do with your own self, your own self image, um, your personality, your self, sense of self-expression with Jupiter squaring Pluto in your first. So it's like maybe you need to make some changes or maybe you need to, uh, you know, do some things to really create this fresh start and to really create some big monumental change with the things that you desire, right? It's like, how can you hone in and focus on your personal life and the things that are valuable here to create more, 
you know, fulfillment in the other areas of your life, right? And so that is what I'm seeing for you if you're an Aquarius rising. Definitely let me know down below if you notice any of these things coming up, if this relates and what you are noticing coming up. If you missed the beginning of this video, go freaking watch it. You do not want to miss that. And if you would like more on what Jupiter and Taurus means for you and some of these other transits, go check out my May 2023 horoscopes for your sign. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Alrighty, Pisces rising. This new moon in Jupiter and Taurus is happening in your third house. Like I said in your main horoscope video, this is all about the present moment. This is all about your, your literal physical reality on a day-to-day -day basis, right? So this is really being more in the moment and finding more quality and value in your day-to-day -day life, in your what you're doing on a day-to-day -day basis, the environments, experiences that you're having on a day-to-day -day basis, really bringing in more beauty, pleasure, and flow into whatever it is that you're focused on in your day-to-day -day life, right? And so it's like, how can you maybe simplify some things to add more flow and more ease and more pleasure and more fulfillment in your day-to-day -day life or in your day-to-day -day environments or in your day-to-day -day experiences or with the different people that you're hanging out with potentially as well. So you could find yourself like wanting to get out in nature more, wanting to go on scenic drives or just wanting to create more sense of fulfillment and value in what you're doing on a day-to-day -day basis, right? And so this could be really like, um, you know, honing in on a certain skill you have that's gonna make your life easier or bring in more money somehow or honing in on certain talents you have or honing in on certain projects you have or honing in on certain, you know, places, people and things around you that are going to somehow add more fulfillment and abundance into your life. And so that is what this really is about for you and this new beginning that's starting for you deals with a lot of that. Now, Jupiter is squaring Pluto in your 12th house. So this could be also a time where, you know, you feel like you need to make some big changes or some big quantum shifts or uh, some big leaps in terms of maybe your healing or your old behaviors or old patterns or old cycles or old fears, old subconscious you know, uh, programming uh, that needs to be shifted or changed here for you to really dive into being more present and focusing on the things that matter to you more in your day-to-day -day life and experiences and your day-to-day -day reality. So let me know if that relates down below Pisces because I really would love to hear what you guys are dealing with with this and how you're seeing this come up in your life. Like I'm genuinely interested and curious to know how this is playing out for you because it's happening in just interesting different places for you. So anyways, uh, if you missed the first part of this video, go back and watch that and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. The Aries, last but not least, this Taurus new moon is happening in your second house and Jupiter just moved in here as well. So boo, <laughs> things are about to get really expansive and really, really, really cool with your money situation. Really cool. I don't know why I said cool, but <laughs> I'm like burnt out. I've done all the signs at this point besides you. So my brain's getting a little bit, you know, all over the place, but things are about to get really expansive and really big. And there's going to be a big focus and awareness that you start having around your money, your values, your possessions, your finances, the things that you own and what's really worth it. You know, this could be a time where you start simplifying, you know, what you have in order to get to what's valuable to you, like what's of value to you, what's actually going to bring in more value or what's actually of quality to you, right? This could bring up your priorities and be like, okay, where am I focused on things that aren't bringing in value or aren't really worth it, right? Where can I, you know, restructure some things to bring in more ease with money, with my income, you know, with the things that I own, right? Like this is like a time where you're really honing in on what is of quality and what is of value in terms of your finances, your priorities, your money, the things that you own, your possessions, right? What you have, right? And so that is where you're really gonna be focused and this new beginning, this new moon in Taurus is happening in this area of life. So this is kind of starting this fresh start, but it may require you to make some changes or uh, it may bring in even some opportunities in terms of connections or different networks or different people that you may know uh, that can help you make some of these changes or some changes that you may need to make in your connections and your networking and your circles and the clicks that you surround yourself with, etc. So it could be kind of either or. So let me know down below, Aries, what you are noticing though, because I really, really do want to know how this is playing out for you and what you're seeing come up with this. I'm really, really genuinely interested and curious. And if you missed the first part of this video, go back and watch it because you're going to relate to it. And if you would like more info on some of these transits, make sure to watch your May horoscope if you haven't already. And that is it. I will see you guys in the next one.